I paid two hundred dollars for this collection, and I have no idea what's in it. Let's unbox it together, and you can get my genuine reactions. Let's see how I did. Hey collectors, if you want to win this game on February 28th and we get to 750 subscribers, just subscribe and comment Pokemon below and you'll be in the sweepstakes for when we get to 750 subscribers. Thanks for watching. Now we do the gravy flips the scent, so chill. Vanity games, Pokemon cards, every flip is a thrill. Vintage Nintendo vibes, the treasure to unfold. Dreaming collectors, masterpiece, standing silver into gold. Okay guys, so today on Gravy Flips, I'm doing something special. I was driving around picking up furniture and somebody posted this huge tote with a trash can and a recycling bin full of like vintage video games. He said he was cleaning out his son's stuff. Um, I ended up messaging him. He was asking $50 for everything and his pictures were basically just the top of, the, of that black bin that you saw. So I really don't know what's in here. I just got home. I thought it'd be really fun to unpack this together. I have my tripod up here. Uh, the other thing is um, he was asking $50, but I offered him $200 because I could see like a PS2, PS2 Slim, and an N64. So I knew I would at least get my money back, but just on the pure volume and the size of all the stuff in the lot. I drove the hour and 15 or so minutes to pick it up, and then I drove the hour and 15 minutes back. I uh, had my trailer with a bunch of furniture in it, so uh, I was already, you know, making profit then. So... Let's unbox this and see how I did. This is a special episode of Gravy Flips. It's like almost getting a storage auction locker. Okay, so I'll start us off over here just so you guys can see the games that I saw for sure. Um, so you guys can quickly see what we've got in here. You know, for PS2 games, we have like Soul Calibur 2 in there. We've got Spyro, you know. Just some decent titles that are great. Scooby-Doo's hold some value. Um, Yu-Gi-Oh, the Need for Speed games, they hold value. And they're actually, they're actually in pretty decent, decent shape. Um, except for this one. Not really. But, there's around 20 or so games here, I haven't counted them. So, I know there's at least $100 in this bin. So let's push that back. And then, uh, we'll come over here to the trash can. So I actually have to, like, zoom out so that we can just kind of go through this. He said there, the dad said there might actually be some games in here. So... I'm not going to be too uh, organized about this, just a quick unboxing, but we have DVDs. I'll quickly stack these so you guys can see what's in here. I really don't go for DVDs, but maybe if you guys see one of value, I've never seen this before, you could just let me know. We're just digging around looking for games. We have some sealed DVDs, nothing too great so far. Oh yeah, we have some Disney VHS. People have been buying Disney VHS tapes, so maybe I could sell those in a collection. Uh, here's more VHS, more VHS, we got Bambi, we got Dinosaur, uh, we got old school Lilo and Stitch. Put those there. We got Harry Potter cars, Spidey Man 2. Let's see what else we got in here. We got the Big Green. I remember watching that movie as a kid. Brother Bear, Rugrats Go Wild, Bambi 2, Sealed March of the Penguins. What's this? Is it in here? It's an old iPod, iPod touch case. I don't hear anything in there. But more VHS tapes. Now, I'm not seeing any games in there. We got Ants, Finding Nemo. The return of Jafar. Here, I'll dump out the rest. Let's see how we did. We have Batman Forever on VHS. Jackal. Spy. Just some, some old blank ones. Roger Rabbit. What's this? Annabelle's Wish. So no good, no games in there. Let's get to that big box. Wait a second, so I didn't see it. There was actually a game in there, Bloody Roar. I think this one actually holds some value. I'm gonna have to double check the, the eBay listings quickly and see what this is going for. Okay, let's get to that big black box. Let's see what we've got in here. Okay, so remember I paid $200 for all this and Bloody Roar, that PS1 game is worth about $25. So just from the start, we have a N64. We have a PS2 Slim. Let's see if there's a game inside. 
Nope, no game. So we got that. We have a bunch of cables in here. Just like generic AUV cables. That's pretty useful. Uh, we have a Sega Genesis, which is nice to see. Oops, that shook the whole thing. So, you know, if the PS2 works, that's like 75. This could be like 75. Pretty much always N64s work. This is like 50. Uh, we have a PS2 Fat with a memory card. And then we have another jumper pack, like an expansion pack. And then some N64 games right here. We have Zelda, Majora's Mask. We have Duck Dodgers. I'm not sure if that one holds value. We got Turok, Glover, and Army Men Sarge's Hero. I used to play this kid all the time as a kid. My dad and I would play the two-person style. We have Shadow Run. You know, this isn't a game that I've gotten much. This one actually might be valuable. I'll probably get downstairs and find out this one actually has value. Um, so I'm excited to see that. We've got Super Mario World, a controller, a Sega Genesis box with no game, the Garfield. Uh, there's a bunch of VHS tapes in here, just Rugrats. Uh, we have an expansion or a, a Rumble Pack right here. Um, here's a Sega game. Here's a Sega game six pack. We have like a bunch of uh, Disney, you know, VHS tapes. Oh. Dumbo. I don't know what that is. It's like a video cassette tape. We got Lion King. We got Zeus and Roxanne. The Black Beauty, the Rescues, E.T., Toy Story, and the Swan Princess. Here's another Sega game. We have Sonic Spinball, still in there. So that one might be like a 20 dollar game. Here is a Super Nintendo, and a couple controllers for it, and all the cores. We have two memory packs for the N64. Here's an N64 game. Please be something valuable. Please be something valuable. All right, hey. GoldenEye, that's like a $30 game. That's cool. That's not good, they all fell on the ground. Uh, check this out, y'all. We have like an old school live action Ninja Turtles VHS tape. Um, we have Stuart Little 2, Beauty and the Beast, Pocahontas, Flipper. The Prince of Egypt. Beauty and the Beast Platinum Edition, uh, An American Trail, The Land Before Time 3. This used to be like one of my favorite shows as like, when I was a kid. We have The Land Before Time 6. We have Spirit. Seeing any of We have Babe, Land Before Time 4, Peter Pan, and Balto. And a hidden Metroid 2, baby, for the Game Boy. So this actually kind of gets me excited because the guy said that he would write me back. Um, I know this game goes for like 30 bucks, so that's definitely a win. Okay, everybody, so I added everything up, and I expect to gross around $820 in value. I gave myself around $100 in VHS values because I'm not really sure what those go for, but I do know... Disney ones go for pretty good. I know people are collecting them these days. So when I sub subtract the 200 I paid from the 820 that I expect to make, that means I expect to make around $620 from this purchase.